So welcome to the December 2015 issue of Physics World magazine. And we've got a really interesting feature this month all about the six scientific secrets of champagne by a physicist called Gérard Ligier Belair from the University of Champagne in France. So we've got a bottle of, it's, unfortunately it's not champagne, we uh, didn't want to blow the Physics World budget, it's a bottle of Carver. So one of the really interesting things about champagne is that the pressure in the, between the liquid and the cork is very high, it's about five atmospheres. And when you pop open a bottle of champagne, the pressure drops to atmospheric pressure, one atmosphere, very, very quickly. And because the pressure drops so fast, the temperature of the gas falls to about minus 90 degrees centigrade. And you get this wonderful fog condensing on that very, very cold gas. So we're going to open the bottle and see if we can see that happening. Three, two, one. I can just about see a uh, little fog forming there. Now according to the author of the Physics World feature, he says that the best temperature to serve your champagne, or carver in this case, is between 8 and 10 degrees. The other thing he says is what sort of glass should you have, and apparently wine experts debate should you have a flute shaped glass or a very wide brimmed uh, coupe shaped glass, and apparently he thinks the best shaped glass is to have a tulip shaped glass because you get a really good balance between a lot of aroma coming out of the champagne and um, not too much CO2. If you have a flute, you can actually get a really strong blast of CO2 up your nose, which can hurt you. And the other interesting thing he says is that when it comes to serving the wine, you shouldn't clean your glass too much because a very clean glass um, doesn't create enough of these bubble trains. So if you have a slightly dirty glass, you have little bits of fibre on the glass, they create these little bubble trains that send the aroma up to your nose as efficiently as possible. Um, and of course the other beauty of champagne is that with a normal wine is that to smell it you need to swirl the glass around to get the aromas going. With champagne these bubble trains naturally get all that lovely smell up to your nose. So what you shouldn't do when you pour wine is to pour it vertically down like this because apparently you lose all the bubbles really really quickly. Um, what you should do is um, use a tulip shaped glass like this one here and pour it um, down the side like that. Oops. Now you see this isn't a champagne so you don't get many of those um, bubble trains that um, this doesn't look spectacular but that's that's the ideal pouring angle and type of glass to use. So there you have it, the uh, six scientific secrets of champagne. You can read more about it in the uh, December issue of Physics World which is available on your smartphone or tablet and we've also put that article on our website physicsworld.com. So, season's greetings and see you in 2016.